Hey everyone, Mike here, Mike's House of Mods, and I need to work on something in my engine, actually the charge pipes, and I have to do some stuff towards the front of it. And of course, this is in the way. So tonight I'm gonna to be taking this hood off, setting it aside, and then that way I can do some stuff on the inside with the charge pipes and some of the um, air duct work underneath. So first I'm gonna show you what I need to do to start taking this hood off. All right, first thing I gotta do is disconnect the headlight clips. There's the one down here, maybe hard to see because of the lights. Uh, one up here on that small uh, little bulb that's up there and just pull the, uh, the wires out of the hood with those clips. That should hopefully disconnect everything there and obviously on the other side as well. And then deal with the hinges and there's two bolts that are, two nuts that go on the studs that are a part of the uh, hood Gonna take those off, but first I'm gonna go and mark the uh, the hinges so I can put them back, hopefully in the same spot as when I took them off. Yours isn't gonna have this unless you purchase the same uh, LED headlights that I got. I'm just gonna cut this uh, little zip tie thing off and that'll uh, release it from these main cables. Okay, so now the headlight housing is disconnected from all the wiring, so that's kind of freed up. All right, the hood is off. And look at all this room. This is perfect. So what I need to do is I'm gonna be taking these charge pipes back off. As you can see, uh, they were hitting the bottom of the hood. So uh, I put some uh, tape on here to kind of keep it from doing it. Well, actually kind of protecting it. And then I had a little pad thing on the bottom of the hood there. So I plan on taking these off and then uh, cutting Oop, cutting the bottoms of them so they uh, push down into the couplers a little bit further kind of angle them so they don't uh, keep banging off the hood and then this has uh, a piece of uh, roofing material believe it or not TPO uh, that is what used to be I have it way over here Ugh. this piece right here so this because of my charge pipes actually we'll go this way wouldn't fit in there because the charge pipes are in the way. So now that I have the hood off, I can kind of uh, figure something out uh, and put this piece back, which is the original piece back in there. And uh, I can probably do that once I have the charge pipes out, that'll give me some extra room. And if I got to Dremel some stuff, you got to Dremel some stuff. And then along with that is also 
I'll just show you the piece right here. I think I had it in the previous video. Uh, this part here goes underneath and it actually attaches to this piece that I just showed you. So anyway, that is my project for the next, uh, well, actually we have some racing coming up, test and tune coming up in a couple of weeks. So hopefully I can have it all done by then. Obviously I'm going to repaint these suckers as well. And um, got one test and tune coming up and then another one two weeks later. Hopefully I can get all this done and the uh, hood back on will be good for that. And uh, no longer have to deal with this. And I will be in the end better than that. I don't have to deal with the duct tape underneath, which was holding that other piece on there. So they look kind of ridiculous. Uh, sitting in the uh, parking area, duct taping some stuff before I start racing. So the first thing I'm going to do is knock this thing out, take this piece off. Um, and that way I can see what I need to do with this one to get them to work with my charge pipes uh, before I take the charge pipes out. And um, it's kind of funny, the easiest thing that we did whenever we uh, put this in there was we attached it to the bolts that hold my intercooler. And my intercooler is actually held on by brackets um, with those bolts as well. So I'm not going to undo the bolt entirely. The thing I'm going to do is take it out just enough that I can um, cut this out of here because it's just a little TPO membrane. Just cut this out of here because I don't want to um, loosen it too much and have my intercooler fall down. So I'm going to go and cut those. Take that off. These actually just pull out. These are just little push pin things. They're push, uh, those little Christmas tree things, I believe. Oh, I'll get my tool and pull those out. So that's easy enough. So once I get this out of here, I'll be able to see what I need to do to get this one and put that one in. All right, I got my handy dandy trim tool. I don't know if you can see it. It should pull this out of there. There we go. And one. There we go. There's the two. So that part's off. Now I just need to do these bolts down here. Just loosen it a little bit so I can easily cut around it. And all right, one second. Actually, this bolt on this side was a little bit different size. Apparently, I don't remember what happened. But we'll use two different size ones. You got to do what you got to do to get it to work, right? All right, let me see if I can cut this off now. Worst case scenario, I will just leave a little piece in there and deal with it later after I have this whole thing figured out for where the other piece goes. All right, so it's out, but I still have those couple little pieces stuck on where the bolts are. I can deal with those later. Uh, let me kind of show you what I got going on with these charge pipes. Obviously, if you have a red line or if you have the, uh, the turbo kit for the 2.4, it's definitely different than mine. My pipes go straight down, but then it'd be kind of hard to tell maybe on this side. You can see that coupler goes that way and it kind of works its way around. You see that silver, let's see if I can get my finger in there, that silver bend that kind of goes around there. That's where the uh, air comes out of because this is the cold side. That's where the air comes out of the, uh, the intercooler. So definitely different than the, uh, what you'd expect with, like I said, the red line or the uh, 2.4 turbo kit, but it works. And these are the brackets I was talking about. Here we go, this way. Here's the brackets that are holding the, uh, the intercooler in there. And then down here is that other piece of TPO that was directing the, um, the wind and everything right up into the radiator after it went through the intercooler. So that's the piece that I'm going to replace. And then as you saw, well, wherever I put it, there it is. That's the piece that I got to go um, to get in here. So that I'm going to try to See if I can do that without messing around with either the, well, I'm not going to mess around with the charge pipes besides. Oh, uh, well, actually, going back to that, this is what I'm going to do. This are in there, that's all, they're in there as far as they can go, but it's too high because this happens. So what I'm going to do is take these out, cut off maybe, I don't know, quarter of an inch, half inch, whatever. That'll, that'll actually drop these down both sides, 
and get them away from the uh, the hood. But um, but I'm hoping I don't have to do too much with that piece to fit it in between here. And that's what I'm going to try to uh, try to do tonight. All right. So here's the piece. The problem is trying to get it down there. Like I mentioned. And around these pipes, and I'll show you in a second here once I kind of start working with it. Because um, the pipes are just really in the way. But I gotta figure something out. Because I want this to be in there the way it's supposed to be. So here's the situation I got. Let's see if I can kind of show you here. There are, oh, there we go, there we go. Right here, there's these little things that stick out and they actually get attached to the bottom piece. But the way these are set up and the way I got there, uh, I guess it's some kind of coolant lines going across there. Uh, everything's kind of in the way. So this is my dilemma. And this is what I gotta figure out. When I gotta get this bottom part all the way down to there, which should lower everything, and I might possibly be able to get it underneath there completely without having to do anything. I just got to do some finagling. So let me try to do that. All right, that was a total fail. Uh, and I didn't want to mess with it too much because the last thing I need to do is poke a hole in the radiator. So I think what I'm going to do is take the charge pipes out, try to get it in there without these things being in the way, and then try to put these back in uh, by moving uh, moving some stuff around or doing whatever. So it's a trial and error, see what happens, see what works, see what doesn't work. And that is a typical thing whenever you're doing some custom stuff. So I'm going to take these charge pipes off, which is the uh, it's a matter of undoing this little clamp, that little clamp, the two up there, piece of cake, they should pop right out. Okay, both sets of charge tubes are out, hot side and the cold side. And here's my dilemma. Here's my dilemma. Okay, this is the piece that goes in there. I actually used a zip tie to kind of hold those two ends in because they were just catching on everything all the way down, especially the radiator. But here's the deal. When I put it down, the farthest down I can go is right on the top of the intercooler, but then that leaves a big gap right there, and I can't attach it to those holes. So here's my solution, and you guys might be mad about it. I don't know. But I'm actually going to have to take this part and cut off these sides. So basically cut here all the way down, cut there on the other side, and then even cut here, probably this little lip off, just because of the way the intercooler is sitting there. I hate to do it because this is an OEM piece. Um, unless I can think of something else. So if you guys got any ideas for me not to cut this, let me know. Maybe give you guys some time. Maybe I'll, I'll post it on Facebook, see what you guys think. If I should just go ahead and do something like that again, or if I should uh, be a little more semi-OEM using the nice plastic piece, cut this off. I'll see how available these things are. Um, I won't feel quite so guilty if there's a bunch of these available. So um, that's where I'm at. All right, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come up with the next one after this to see what my solution was. Do I go that route or do I cut this to make it fit in there? So until next time, I'll see you later.